Rain brought a lot of rain to areas to the west of us. Nearly two dozen people in Pasco County had to be rescued from the floodwaters overnight. Take a look at this video. Streets and sidewalks were covered in water. People along Hudson Beach say as much as a foot of water was seeped into their homes and even more could be on the way. Further north, the Panhandle is seeing bad flooding as well, and thousands of residents are without power there because of the storm's direct hit in the Big Bend area. News 6 reporter Nadine Yadis rode out Hermine's landfall in Wakula County. The damage left behind from Hermine can't only be found on the outside here at Shell Point Beach, but you can also see the effects on the inside of homes here, like one man who came home to find water up to about a foot inside his house. And we tried to put, get everything up off the ground that we could yesterday. Todd Thompson did everything he could ahead of Hermine. We got our couches up on blocks and stuff like that. Knowing that Hermine was going to bring a projected storm surge of 8 to 12 feet along Florida's Gulf Coast. It wasn't, you know, that wasn't that bad, but the water was bad. We knew the water was going to come up, so we didn't know how far. And he didn't know how fast. New Six was just feet from his home when Hermine made landfall overnight. Watching as the storm surge reached three to four feet high when it hit the hardest around 11 p.m. That's two hours before making landfall. Thompson knew it wasn't going to be good. Yeah, at one point it came up a foot in 20 minutes. So it was kind of like, that's pretty scary when you see the water coming in that fast. The water reaching 15 to 20 inches in some places forcing this father to get on the phone with the insurance adjuster today. Concerning or? You just know that the next day you're gonna have a big nasty cleanup and you know, it's always bad when your house gets torn up. So Thompson and other residents are working to get their lives back together after this storm. He tells me it could take weeks before he's even back in his home. In Wakulla County, Nadine Giannis, News 6.